everything is a percentage. Everything is a percentage when it comes to looking at your commission split. And, and so this is a decision making exercise that you can decide is going out on my own the right thing to do. Should I stay on a team? Should I start a team? Should I grow a big business? Should I just be a solopreneur selling real estate? Whatever the case may be, but one of the simplest little hacks that I found is converting every single thing to a percentage. That really makes the math clear because where we get where we get confused or where we get sidetracked is we look at top line number. We look at the top line, we look at the gross, you know, whatever the gross uh, commission dollars are coming into the company or coming into your, your business, or we make a, a decision to look at the gross commission or so whatever, maybe you're on an 80-20 split, a 95-5, a 90-10, 70-30, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. When we're looking at making a change, what we need to do is, let's just say you're on a team and you're trying to make a decision to go out on your own. We'll just use that as an example, or you're going to start a team, whichever one. We need to take a look at all the processes, all the systems that the team is more likely providing for you. So that may be all of your CRM services, uh, your transaction coordinator, office space, copier, everything, all the, all the operational cost, all the leverage pieces that that team or company is providing to you. And, convert them into a percentage. What that allows you to do is to get clear on, you know, I guess potentially what your net would be, what your really true net commission dollar is. So let's just say you, you convert all the operations cost, everything that, you know, the team or the company is providing to you, and that ends up being around 12 to 15%, somewhere in that range. And then we have to factor in another thing. Are you gonna advertise? If you're gonna advertise, what's the budget? Now, one thing about advertising you need to factor in is those are also commitments. See, most of the places you advertise, so radio, TV, billboards, Zillow, realtor.com, all these portals, all these things, they don't care if you sell any houses. That, that wasn't the agreement. The agreement wasn't, hey, uh, advertise and you'll sell houses. The agreement was, we'll provide media to you. That's it, but maybe some creative. But there's no guarantee of conversion. There's no guarantee of sale. So when you sign up for all these commitments, you need to make sure you look at your contracts. What is your obligation? You know, is it a year, six months, six weeks, whatever, whatever that looks like? Are you gonna do mailings? You know, whatever the advertising is, break those down into another percentage. And you know whatever we'll just pick a number. Let's just say you know it's two thousand dollars a month, twenty four thousand dollars a year. So if I convert that into let's just say I I plan to make a hundred thousand dollars or whatever the case may be, so I got a twenty four percent right. You know the math, guys. But take that and look at a percentage. So if I go out on my own and let's just say I find a company and I decide okay it's a eighty twenty split, and I'm on a fifty fifty split with a team. By the time, you know, look at the math and then break those things down. And I think what you'll quickly see is by the, when you take in the operational percentage, you take in the advertising percentage, you are quickly going to get to 50% or less. Here's the factor that you've got to look at. Are you willing to take the risk? Because that's really the assessment. The assessment is... At, at the place that you are in your career, at the place that you are in your life, are you willing to take that risk? And for some, that's going to be a real clear, easy yes. And for some, it's, mm, I've not been consistent long enough to have a predictable income. I'm kind of guessing that this is going to happen. I'm kind of hoping that this is going to happen. And that is fine. But just know what you're getting yourself into. Just know what your obligations are especially if you're hiring people. You know, if you have employees, you know, they're, they're relying on you for that job, for that position. So think about those things. And then I think at the end of the day, when you look at it, there's so few real estate agents and so few real estate teams that really should even be in business. 
they actually should do a consolidation. They actually should, more than likely, if they're a solo agent, they should just stay on a team. It's a safer place. One nice thing about being on a team is you can come in, make your money, and go home. You have no obligation. It's a, it, it can be a beautiful, it can be a beautiful thing. You know, the other, the other thing, or a brokerage, or whatever the case may be. So, just you know, look at the math, look at the numbers. If you need help, that's what we're here for. That's what real estate school is. You know, real estate speed school is all about. It is about me, not hopefully you not making the same mistakes that I made over the last 24 years. This is, that's why it's speed. We want to speed up the learning process. What's the best way to learn? Through other people's what? Mistakes. You don't have to do it like I did. You don't have to make all the mistakes that I made and all the risks that I took. It's not necessary. There's a clear path. There is a clear path that you can follow. There's a proven system. You don't need to recreate the wheel and take the risk. It's just not necessary. So this is the type of content you always get right here at Real Estate Speed School. If you need help with that math, if you need help breaking that down, that's what we're here for. Reach out to us. Drop me a line here, put a comment, give us a call, whichever you want to do. But, you know, if you needed somebody to take a 30,000 foot view of, hey, I'm getting ready to do something, this is what I'm thinking, we'll take a look at it. Here's the one thing you don't want to do. Here's where, here's where no conversation ends well. Hey, Jason, I'm getting ready to go do something. Hold my beer. All right, until next time, Real Estate Speed School. Thank <music> you.